Hey, what's up everybody? Time for another answering stupid questions. Today we're going to talk about that project. I'll make a video out of it, I guess, more. Um, and I, of course, it's it doesn't surprise me that all the negative comments of people trying to say I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about are people that, coincidentally enough, somehow follow all the dudes that lie about me. What, what a... Just a magic, magical coincidence, right? And I guess I'm going to talk about desk again. Do I need to put desk in the fucking title? Sometimes I don't know if people bring up desk to me as a troll or are they just really that stupid? Like, do I need to put it in the title? We'll put it in the title today. You know what I mean? And I'll just say this before I, I answer a stupid comment. Maybe another one too. Desk is a fucking fraud to me, okay? I have like no respect for the dude. You know? If you want to say, maybe from execution wise, if you want to say maybe, maybe in the grand scheme of combo or tech guys or something, he has the best execution whatsoever, something like that. He's done a one handed combo. He's done many, you know, actually. Good for him. But the dude constantly gets fucking credit for shit that is not even remotely true. The dude gets credit for fucking stuff that you can find on Game Facts and people say it's new. He gets credit for old Nintendo Power Magazine stuff. I legitimately do not even know why he is popular, other than the fact that he's just, let's say, good enough that if he has a backing, he can make people believe the lie. Like, I mean, seriously, can you tell me legitimately what Desk has ever done? Legitimately, that has changed the perspective of games, changed tech-wise? I mean, the only thing that I can even think why he got popular is he did some one-handed combos in Street Fighter Four. I remember he got credit for the fucking Fei Long Infinite, which was absolutely fucking retarded. It was just fucking chicken wing to another button over and over, like, and people are saying he found it. It was fucking retarded. You know what I mean? Street Fighter 4 was a big game. He made a lot of combos for it. So the community decided to push him as being the best, and it's absolutely ridiculous. You know, like I said, Desk gets credit for stuff that is not even true, right? You know what I mean? I guess he makes music too, which is cool. He, you know, he makes music, whatever. That's nice, right? You know, more props to him. He's done one-handed combos. That's cool. You know, maybe his execution is the best ever. But in terms of actually finding tech in games, changing the perspective of games, I don't know what the fuck he's done. I couldn't fucking tell you. You know what I mean? I'm being, I'm not, I'm not lying. I, I legitimately, as a connoisseur of fighting game knowledge, don't know what the fuck Desk has ever done in fighting games. Legitimately. He's just good enough to make you believe the lie. Since he's had so many people backing him. And I never even used to call him out. I used to ignore it. But I I've seen him. He gets credit for shit that's not true. To the point that it's not even niche knowledge. Like, you know, maybe you say, oh, this person, you know, it's niche knowledge. So maybe they found it, but it's hard to find. He gets credit for fucking game facts codes. It it's fucking retarded. And then I saw that Street Fighter 6 thing, which I thought was funny, where he's like, oh... You know, Capcom didn't give me the game early. <laughs> Whatever, dude. You know what I mean? And I didn't get to play the beta. You didn't get to play the beta or some shit like that? Dude, you have videos of you playing the beta on your fucking channel. You know, again, that that's the difference. The difference between me and someone like Desk is I have the so many people in the community telling me that the only reason I've done more than Desk, remember those comments? Is Remember those comments during the early Marvel days, all this kind of bullshit? The only reason Clayton does more than Desk is because he cheats. You know what I mean? He splices desk videos, right? And then you have the, the audacity, right? You know what I mean? And just fucking, you know, unlike him, I constantly have to do shit that no one has ever even thought of. You know what I mean? While people lying about me. He does jack shit. I'm, I'm sorry. I shouldn't say jack shit. That's being too hard on him, right? But I, I morally don't respect him for, you know, the, the fact that so many websites will, you know, and all these comments, you know, like I said, even when people try to comment on my shit and give me credit for something that's not true, I say it's not true. You know what I mean? I don't want to take credit for something that is, is I haven't done. And, you know, maybe, you know, the devil's advocate could be like, oh, well, he's not, you know, his brother's keeper or however you want to fucking, however you want to phrase it. He, it's not his fault that someone gave him credit for something that's not true. You know what I mean? Yeah, sure, it's not. Okay. Well, I agree with that. Doesn't mean I respect him as a man. You know, so anyway, I don't know why people keep bringing up Desk to me throughout the years, but bro, I'm not impressed. He makes music is cool. Like I said, execution again, I'll give it to him. That's fine. 
but I don't give a fuck about doing a one-handed combo. Tech-wise, though, I don't know what the fuck he's done. I, I still don't. It's fucking lost on me. You, you know, so much shit, it's ridiculous. But anyway, long forward, we'll put Desk in the title. Just because I don't know why so many people bring it up with it. We'll, we'll put Desk in the title for you. Okay? Anyway, this idiot. The style of the game isn't new, but the features and the way they do things are. You know what? This whole thing is just is just nonsense if you read it. Listen. I've said this before, and you can read the comment. I'm, I, it's, it's almost stupid. I'm being disingenuous to a pretty high degree. No. Excuse me. Listen. They said the game is new. Whatever. They're finding new things. The game isn't new. And if the game truly is new, and there's all this new shit that they're doing, the game has failed at the assignment of making the game easily digestible to appreciate what is new in it, okay? And I've talked about, you know, how you sell games to audiences, right? The only thing that is new in terms of selling this game to the audience that I can see is that it's a League of Legend game. All this stuff, I, you know, like I said, there's some comment that, oh, it's the first tag team game that's ever had, you know, rounds. And I'm like, Jesus Christ, I don't even know if that's true. That sounds like kind of a stretch to me. That sounds kind of disingenuous, you could say. <laughs> whatever dude right you know and like oh well now it's a two verse two game you know but for years it was only going to be one verse one listen i've already said i'm not going to hate on someone or i guess there it's a fucking team whoever knows how many millions of dollars are being given to, to make this shit you know what i mean i'm not saying that i don't think that it's hard to make a brand new game i'm not saying that i don't think it's hard to make brand new characters that throw new spins on stuff I've said before, if I were to make my own game, I think it would be very difficult to make a truly new game that would change the perspective of fighting games. I think even for me, that would be difficult. Even if I was trying to make all my new, uh, my own new characters, I probably could only come up with, you know, a few. I think it would be very hard to make a full roster of truly kind of new feeling characters. I think it's hard. I agree. You know what I mean? I don't have any horse in the race. I look at games objectively speaking. I can tell you if a game is good, if it's bad, I've been able to tell you accurately how all these games are going to work for year after year. You know what I mean? I look at games objectively, right? There's no horse in the race, right? I'm just calling it like it is, right? What they're talking about in this game and that I could see and for what it's worth, I'm not going to say that I've analyzed the footage because it literally just does not look that interesting to me. But then we go again to the at that, if I cannot just look at it and instantly tell why this game is brand new, then they have failed the assignment, what we talked about earlier, right? So the point is, you know what I mean? I, I agree it's hard, but just because it's hard doesn't mean you get credit because you couldn't do it. You, you know what I mean? I, I mean, when I talk about games, I don't really care about Dragon Ball Fighter Z. I just did videos to prove I was the best ever, right? You know what I mean? But Dragon Ball Fighter Z, I could instantly look at that game and I could tell you that you could see a potential new perspective on games if they would have gone with it. You could see the tug of war between homing dashing and reflecting in fireballs. You could see that this was a new potential meta that would not exist in other fighting games. And because it's also a new kind of system, right? It also happened to be a system that would allow you to create a new archetypical character, which is normally not possible in a fighting game, right? You know what I mean? And then you could have fleshed that out by having some characters that have a bit, little bit different and reflect like the vacuum cleaner, you know what I mean? Like the androids, whatever. There was potential for it to be there, right? You know, did it live up to that? No. But I could see new shit instantly. Look at a game like Guilty Gear Strive. I don't really give a fuck about Guilty Gear Strive. Granted, I've said before, Guilty Gear Strive, I think, is a more, when you look at it, a more interesting game than Guilty Gear x -Hard. But Guilty Gear Strive, you know, the wall sucks. The wall could have been cool, and I've made multiple videos on how you could have put a new perspective on fighting games with the way they, with the wall, mm -hmm. in a 2D fighting game specifically. You know what I mean? If I was making a 2D fighting game with a wall, I said how I would do it. And you could see, if you actually watch those videos and listen to what I'm saying, that would be a new perspective for a 2D fighting game that you cannot get in other games. And it added, you know, I even talked about how you, how the commentators could show it, right? It's very easy. You could have done that. They didn't do it. But, you know, you could have seen there could have been something. But something that I can say, just from looking at the characters at face value and strive, 
Although I said before, in Strive, you can tell that, you know, they put all their eggs in one basket, so to speak, or, you know, they teeter-tottered, you know what I mean? Making the system more important than the characters. And I said, Strive is going to be funny because they're going to try to sell you on the system is going to be so good in Strive, but I can guarantee you when I look at this system, it's going to suck and the characters are still going to be the best thing about the game. Despite that, and was I not true? The game is what, two, three years old now and it's still the case, right? I can call games. I know the fuck they're going to work, dude. You know what I mean? At this point, I, I have a lot of like, uh, I have a lot of games I can be wrong about and my track record is still going to be better than anybody else. But Guilty Gear Strive, you know, I said before, you can look at the characters and you can see some of these characters are pretty interesting, dude. Biken? Biken is a interesting character. Chip? Chip is a interesting character, right? They're, like, you could say they're kind of EX versions of the characters. They're a little bit different. But they're still, you instantly look at those characters like, wow, that character's pretty different. That character's pretty interesting, right? When you look at Project L, you know what I know? I don't character has a fucking axe. I don't know what the fuck he does that's different. Well, well, let me get this straight. Like, like seriously, listen to this. How, how, how long am I into this video? This video is 11 minutes long. Character with an axe, I don't know what the fuck is so cool about him. They've been showing this game for what? Three years now or some shit? Why, what is the new shit? You know what I mean? You would think that if you were making a new game and you're telling me it's brand new, you know, oh, this is brand new for fighting games, you're going to show off the characters. You're like, whoa, this shit is new. Character has an axe. The other character that isn't the black dude, I don't even know. It's a girl. There's a girl character. That's no, legitimately, I'm not saying that as a troll. I just seriously did not fucking see anything that, wow, that's an interesting character. I no, I'm not a fucking troll. I'm not joking you. Not joking, not, not fucking with you. I seriously did not look at that. I'm like, okay, Axe character. That's a brand new character. What? It, 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 I don't fucking see it. And if they are so different that it actually is a new perspective on fighting games, then they have failed the assignment of showing me it. <laughs> okay. You know what I mean? So, I mean, I don't know. You know, that there's nothing disingenuous about that. Oh, this game has this, it's just different. You're talking about, oh, well, you know, there's grooves and there's different kinds of blocking. There's no incoming steps. Okay, so different shades of gray that other games have had. Also, I've said this before as well. And you know, it would actually be great. It would, it would be, it, no, it wouldn't be great. It would be, you know, it would be terrifying. You know what I mean? But, uh, you know, I said before, I don't really care about tag team games, but I've made videos before about if I was making a tag team game, certain properties and certain kind of moves I would put in the game and you can watch those and say specifically I, I've made the videos how I would change Vegeta and um, I talked about how I would put the final explosion in a game and I'm actually I think that idea is still it's one of my favorite ideas that I've ever come up with final explosion you could make a tag team kind of move and you know you watch the video I go in depth how you could put in that move and it's a move that could not work in a one-on-one -on -one game but it is a move that I designed in my head that could only work for a tag team game okay so the point is there are new ideas that you can actually give characters in a tag team game specifically I have not seen it or heard about it in this game you know what I mean and that's not me tooting my own horn, so to speak, because I said before, I do not think that I could make a truly, completely brand new game. I do not think that I could make a truly, completely new roster of characters. But I do know I could make a little bit of new stuff. I could make a little bit of new characters, right? And I can tell you from what I have been shown, this game is not new from what they have showed me. They have not done a good job of selling me the product. They're just shilling it to a bunch of people, which let's not, let's not even get into it. If, if you're sending this game to people who are trying to say I fake cancer and I fake die and all this kind of stuff, just so they can tell you it's an amazing game, it doesn't sound like you have your, I don't really trust your game in the first place when you do that kind of shit. You know what I mean? Give me a break. Let alone you have all these guys that 
Oh, Pat the Flip, whatever. Oh, he was, you know, always saying all this amazing shit about me when I was, you know, predicting how how these games were going to work, writing strategies for video games for years. Oh, wait, uh, let me say Clayton is evil. Let me get a job making a video game myself. Oh, fuck, I don't want to want anyone to know that oh, I, have, I have so many ideas and my knowledge of games, so much stuff comes from Clayton, you know what I mean? Give me a break. I'm not fucking impressed, you know? So anyway, um, I, I didn't even want to go through other comments. I'm just kind of too lazy, but yeah, I'm not, uh, I'm not fucking impressed, you know? Yeah, remember if you like the videos, like, sub, silly, comment, share, support the channel if you want. I appreciate it. Thanks. The end.